Hello guys, uh, my name is Shaka and we are going to talk about the current crisis in Sudan. And please don't forget to subscribe after this short video. We are going to talk about the current conflict. What is going on in Sudan? So, the current conflict in Sudan is an ongoing political crisis in the country that began in 2018. So the crisis began with protests against the government of Omar al-Bashir, the then president of Sudan who had been in power since 1989. So the protest was sparked by rising food prices and uh, fuel shortages, but quickly grew up into a broader uh, movement, calling for the political change and an end to his rule. So in 2019, Omar, Omar al-Bashir was overthrown by military junta. Well, not really by the military junta, but he was overthrown by the power of the people, the protest. And then uh, the military actually hijacked the revolution and declared a military council that has been ruling Egypt since then. So let's have a look at Sudan. Where is Sudan? So Sudan is a country in northeastern Africa. It's the third largest country in Africa. And it does it, it borders, borders Egypt to the north. Um, and then Libya to the northwest, Chad to the west, Central African Republic, Republic to the southwest, South Sudan, which is a different country that gained its independence from Sudan. So South Sudan is in the south of Sudan. And we have Ethiopia to the southeast, Eritrea to the east, and the Red Sea to the northeast. Sudan has a population of about 44 million people. The country. Sudan has a very rich history that dates back about 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago, before the Arab conquest, the country was called Nubia or Kush. The kingdom of Kush was located uh, on the river Nile to the south of Egypt. The civilization of Kush thrived for about 2,000 BCE to 3,000, uh, 3050 CE. Kush and Egypt maintained a very close relation much of Kush's history. The kingdom of Kush lasted for over 1,500 years, I would say. It was first established around 1,070 BCE when it gained its independence from Egypt. It quickly, it quickly became a major power player in that region. In the year 727 BCE, Kush took control of Egypt. Kush conquered Egypt and then ruled the country for a long, long time before the Assyrians came and conquered the country. Well, the Assyrians came and con conquered the country and then we had the Greeks, the Persians, and then the Romans. But before that, Kush ruled Egypt. Now, let's have a look at the modern Sudan. Where is Sudan? Not where is Sudan, but where is Sudan? What's going on? What's going on in Sudan right now? So Sudan got its independence from Great Britain in the year 1956. And then after that, they started a civil war, which lasted for a couple of decades and then led to the creation of South Sudan as a nation. So the current crisis, how did it start? This started a few days ago, or if, well, a few days ago, when the clashes in the military base in the capital Khartoum quickly spread to the presidential palace, the international airport, and the headquarters of the state broadcaster. You know, last week I was hearing people talking about residents screaming, their homes being looted, warplane going over their rooftops and all that people dying in the streets of egypt and then we do have this internal un report citing that hundreds of people have died in sudan already so we have to go back and see what is the cause of this conflict how did it start how did how did this transpire so the chaos was an alarming turn for a nation that only four years ago was inspiration to both Africa and the, and, and, and the Arab world. You know, 
couple of years, a couple of months ago, we had this jubilant protest going on, symbolizing about a young woman in a white robe, you know, toppling the white detested ruler, you know, who has been ruling the country for decades. And then all of a sudden, the country engulfs itself in chaos. So, what is going on really? Are we having interference from foreign powers? Is that the reason why we have this problem in, in, in Sudan? In part, yes. It's because Sudan has become a, a, very, uh, a flashpoint in the wider global rivalry between the West and Russia. The Kremlin-backed private military company, the Wagner, has deployed mercenaries to Sudan and runs a major gold mining concession. They have mining concessions that were given by, 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 the, by the government in Sudan. You know, they're mining timber, they're mining gum, they're mining gold. And in return, they give weapons to the weapons and mercenaries to the Sudanese government. Uh, so Sudan's uh, military has been struggling to rule effectively since then. Um, uh, so the Sudanese military was actually supposed to hand power back to the people, but that never happened. But in any hopes for a peaceful transition was shut early last Saturday when straining relations between the most powerful military leaders, the Army Chief General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan and Lieutenant General Mohammed Hamdan, the commander of the powerful rapid supposed response paramilitaries, turned violent. Okay, so the next episode, we are going to look at these powerful generals. The two leaders who are fighting. Who are they? Who is General Burhan? And who is the other general? Who is General Lieutenant General Mohammed Hamdan? So in my next episode, look back and let's have a look at these two powerful generals who are dividing Sudan. Let's have a look at that. Please subscribe to my channel and thank you very much.